Hi everyone, how are you all doing today? Finally, I get the chance to talk about the Slam Dunk film, the first Slam Dunk, which came out here in London on the 30th of August. Yeah, I wanted to do a review straight away, but as you know, like the film started at 8.45 and by the time I got home, it was 11.45. And then after t the day after, I was so busy. So hopefully now I have the time to, you know, give you guys a review. So how the movie went was that, okay, I'm just giving some thoughts about it. Miyagi is the main character of the film. So in the slam dunk manga, Sakuragi is the main character. However, in the film, it then turns to Miyagi because I think in a way he felt a bit, oh, I didn't give Miyagi justice in the manga. So in case you guys don't know or you haven't read the slam dunk manga, you know, uh, Shohaku is a, you know, this is school and they compete against other schools in their tournaments as well. And this film, it, it talks about the last arc of the manga, which was never animated in the real anime because the anime, the 1990s one, it had a, they wanted an original ending, the production studio, but Inoue said, no, I want the, my ending to be animated. And the production studio, they didn't go with that. So what happened was that the anime got canceled and then the Sano vs. Shohoku uh, arc never got animated until now with the first Slam Dunk movie where we actually get to see the actual arc animated. However, it's not just the arc that gets covered. You also have uh, Miyagi's backstory, which we never got to see in the manga. My, um, personally, I thought it was you know good to see Miyagi's backstory as well. However, Sakuragi is the main character of the show. And I felt like that Sano game, that was Sakuragi's time to prove himself as a player because he just started playing basketball. He doesn't really have any <clears throat> technique on, you know, the game, the fundamentals of the game. However, he understands, he has that, he has his like insane vertical jump, his rebounding for talent is all there. So I feel like, you know, that showcased, you know, you know, how Shohoku manages to come back in during the Sano game. Okay. And like actually give the most powerful team in Japan a chance, like a challenge to, okay, we're not a bunch of pushovers, we deserve to be here. And I felt like that really showed, you know, in the movie as well. The animation of the movie also was also quite good as well, considering that, you know, most, you know, 3D CGI anime, they don't really translate well. However, I feel like they did it justice in this one where, you know, there was a bit of 2D animation. I know that Takahiro, in a way, he did do some work on the movie. It is his directorial de debut. So he did have, you know, like artistic control over the film and everything. So I feel like he did pretty good with that. However, yeah, I still, man, Sakuragi, man, like everyone was laughing in the theater when Sakuragi was, you know, having his one-liners, you know, when he said to the audience, hey, we're going to win. Yeah, don't, you know, rat us out. Okay. And then all of his jokes and everything, oh, I'm a basketball genius and everything. Everyone vibed with that and... Sakuragi, he is the soul of Slam Dunk. I read the manga five years ago, okay? And I really had a blast as well. I personally think that Inoue's other work, Real, which I think is better than Slam Dunk. By the way, that got a chapter last week, so make sure you check that out. I feel like, you know, Real is better than Slam Dunk, but Slam Dunk also captures the soul of, you know, you know, basketball and as well, you know, even though you, you know, you may not like, what's the purpose of you playing basketball, okay? you may unlock something in yourself that you never thought possible before. For example, Sakuragi only played basketball because he wanted to impress Haruko. And then uh, now he loves basketball as well. And then he may manages to have a rivalry with Rukawa as well. By the way, uh, you know, the scenes with uh, Rukawa versus Sawakita, I feel like that was pretty done, well done as well. It was pretty tense. And as well, like the 1v1s between Akagi and, uh, uh, I don't know, I think his name is, mm, what was his name? Kagagi? Or, no, Akagi is the center of Shukaku, but the Kawata, yeah, Kawata, the big guy. Uh, there were scenes of them were pretty fun. Yeah, Kawata and Sakuragi as well, you know, when they're battling for the rebound, that was very entertaining to see. There was a lot of good moments in the film. Yeah, and uh, Miyagi's uh, backstory, you get to see Inoue's emotional side storytelling. So I don't know if, in case you guys have never read an Inoue manga, for example, Real or Slam Dunk or even Vagabond. By the way, I haven't read Vagabond, but he likes to like trigger like your emotions. Not in a way like, oh, he's like nitpicking, but he likes to bring emotions like into the story as well. And then like the purpose of, okay, why am I doing this? You know, how like how many people do I need to prove that, you know, I deserve to be here? Like, am I going to be like the person I look up to? You see this a lot of 
and you see this a lot in like in a way stories i feel like you know the movie did capture this essence uh, i yeah the, the also the sano versus Hokoku is like one of the most you know famous arcs in shonen and it's one of the best arcs in shonen but a lot of people like people who watch the slam dunk anime they never even got to see it it's the best arc in the series never they never got to see it unfortunately but they can see it now i did really like the film but when we go to another criticism the ending uh i don't want to spoil the ending but i feel like i don't know why they picked that character to face up with you know who in case you know what i'm talking about because uh in the in the in the manga they're never really rivals but you know, there, there's other, they, he does have a rival, but it's not that person at the end. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, uh, you can even leave it in the comments below. Okay. In case there is a spoiler, I'll, I will, I will put spoiler there in case someone, you know, mentions it in the comment. But I feel like the ending, like they could have picked another character to face up against, you know, who, but I don't know, in a way that that was his decision anyway, because he did have direct, full control over the film. Out of 10, I'd give this film a 7.5 out of 10. I wanted to give it 8, but that, those changes with Sakuragi not being the main character and that ending, it wasn't a bad ending, but it just like, bro, like, there was never inclination of that in the manga. And then even during the film, you never knew it was going to be like that. Yeah, but that's the way it goes. So I'm going to give it 7.5 out of 10. A great film, but like there were some things I would have done better. Like I would have done differently. I'm not going to say done better because I'm not on Inoue's level of artistic talent. Yeah, so uh, I feel like if I was Inoue, I would have done those things a bit differently. But yeah, you never know. And Inoue did mention like a sequel to the Slam Dunk film is possible. So maybe we can like delve, like delve further into the characters as well. Also, check out the Slam Dunk, the slam dunk m manga so... You can, you know, really get... It's a really great manga. And it is one of the best shonens out there as well. I know uh, Inoue's art, some people say in the beginning, it's not that good. I really... I like Inoue's art in the beginning. Like, Sakuragi and, look, and Rukawa look really cool as well. I know, like, towards the uh, Shohoku and Sano arc, you do have, you know, Inoue's hyper-realistic drawings that you see in his modern manga, like Real and Vagabond. But I still, you know, enjoy it regardless. He is a very talented artist. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Peace out. See ya.